seems like every year there's another variety or two that shows up. Now this is an old variety of plant, but it's one of the most wonderful of plants, I think, that you can have in your house. And it'll live all year in your house with no problem at all if you have a sunny window. Especially a south or a west window would be good for these. And this is Sherry? And Gardenia. And they mm -hmm. are the most fragrant flower. I've heard tales. My mother had gardenia corsages in her days of young courting <laughs> and Easter, and they are the most fragrant flower. Thoroughly enjoyable indoors, and if we had a warmer climate down south in the Carolinas and Georgias, these grow outdoors to be huge shrubs. But we tend have to keep them indoors here. But they make a marvelous house plant if you have, as Liz says, a very sunny window. <laughs> I know one day I visited my sister in Virginia Beach and I was used to our little pot of gardenias seeing those but right in front of her house were these two huge gorgeous gardenia plants it was just overwhelming they are a really wonderful plant and even just standing here there's several beautiful blooms on this plant and the smell is just wonderful but you'll have to get a gardenia plant or stop into your plant store and see for yourself if you really want to know what they smell like. Now they do, what's the watering like on these? They're kind of, well they're not tricky, they are just a little bit demanding. They hate to dry out. If you let them go too dry or give them uneven waterings, you'll get bud drop and hence you won't get the great blossoms. Water thoroughly when you do water. Let them dry only maybe an inch or less down into the pot and don't let them sit in water. Uh, they okay. also tend to take a different fertilizer than most plants. These That's are right. acid-loving mm -hmm. plant like azaleas and they prefer mere acid or any iron enriched fertilizing plant. They're just really, it will make them sit bud just like you see here. That's the efforts of good fertilization. Right. Also, I think the mirror acid keeps their leaves that it keeps the nice deep green color that they've already got. If you don't do that, eventually your uh, your leaves tend to get a little on the yellow side. So use mirror acid for your gardenia. Now, what about planting this outside? Now, we're just kind of borderline in this area. I guess it's really not quite. We're not quite warm enough. We're on the borderline. We could, we could put this out for the summer. My only concern then would be to watch for spider mites, which are a pest that tend to like gardenias, especially if you leave them outside and you don't spray them before you bring them in. One can test for mites very easily. Uh, you take a white sheet of paper and tap the leaf there, and if you see little dots running around, you know you have spider mites and it can be very easily treated with most safe insecticides, insecticidal soap, uh, cetaflora or something like that. Well, that's what I usually recommend for mm -hmm. mites, yeah, is the uh, safers. Although I do know it doesn't, well certain blooming plants don't like to be sprayed with the safers, but is the gardenia is one that it's it a would tender work on. It's a tender plant. I would probably recommend the African violet mixture of the safers, which is a oh, little okay. more tender All right. for the gardenia. <laughs> Great. And these you can also prune to shape as they grow. And I'll get out my pruners to show you. They tend to stay really bush-like, but if it starts, you start seeing them get a little out of hand or you want to keep them looking compact, just get a pruners or actually a good scissors would work on this. And just take off a few inches or so, whatever you'd like, right above. Let me see if I can show you on this. We'll see. Now is this a good shot here? Can we see where I'm trying to cut? <laughs> Just cut it like right above where the leaves come out. to snip it right off anywhere you'd like in order to keep its shape. And you can prune it to any shape you'd like. But it is something that you'll want to do every once in a while. Probably not more than once or twice a year. But since it's a bush, that's a good thing to do. And one thing too, which as you're pruning, always prune off the dead blossoms. That will encourage the plant to set even more buds. The energy the plant doesn't go to make seed, it goes to making more blossoms for you right. in the home. Now this one's just about ready to go here, but we could probably wait till tomorrow, don't we you could. think? And you can float <laughs> them in bowls of water, so you right. can put your spent blossoms there and get a room full of fragrance. 
Yeah, they do look cute and they're floating around in those little brandy snifters That's or right. glass balls and they smell so wonderful. Okay, well I think that's about it for the gardenia, but we're not finished yet.